We're gonna go up in the arch today, or at least I am. And my wife and I are also going to go through the museum and watch the movie about how they constructed the arch. And you used to go in by walking to either one of the legs. Since they've redone the arch, you actually enter from the top of the hill. Downtown St. Louis is that way. There's the courthouse. So across from there is the actual entrance to the arch. And you walk through the museum area first. It says, welcome to Gateway Arch National Park. Okay, now we're walking through the arch museum. This is the first set of dates that it starts. 1764 to 1804, Colonial St. Louis. And we're gonna take a quick walk through. St. Louis was founded in February 15th of 1764. It was a busy trading post, tanned deer hide, and there was deer skin. Whoa, it's thick. So St. Louis was known as the gateway to the West. They started with powerful trading. The rivers were the first super highways. They have little things for the kids to do here. Like it says, match the heads with their bodies and feet to reveal the figures painted by Anna Marie Von Poel. People came to St. Louis from around the world. Wooden work shoes, these are the actual size. Wow. This is a double pitched roof house. The early St. Louis houses had their own style and skilled workers built them. St. Louisans hired carpenters and stonemasons to build their homes. Many craftsmen received furs and hides in payment for their work. 1804 to 1840, Jefferson's vision. And there's a statue of Thomas Jefferson. It talks about the Louisiana Purchase. What were they looking for? They found vast plains and soaring mountains. This area talks about the era after the Louisiana Purchase came into effect, which happened in 1804, which was approved and authorized by Thomas Jefferson. And he started Lewis and Clark out on their expedition to explore this vast area. Some of the Indian tools and weapons it's a war club. This talks about the mountain men that lived in the new country, the wild area. Trappers and hunters, there's a beaver trap. Some of the knives they used, some for skinning. They often worked in hostile Indian country. 1840 to 1860, the era of manifest destiny. These are different viewpoints of the same time period. By war or by treaty, the United States was determined to expand. Another viewpoint was that the North was taken from Mexico. And of course, the American Indian viewpoint, sign a treaty or stand and fight. And there's an old stagecoach. 1838 to 1860, the riverfront era. This was a time of change in St. Louis. The town and the riverfront area grew quickly. And this depicts the St. Louis riverfront in the early 1850s. In 1849, 4,500 people died of cholera in St. Louis out of a population of 63,000. Gold Rush pioneers carried cholera westward from St. Louis, the single biggest killer of immigrants on the overland trails. Big steamboats were workhorses back then moving people and freight. 1860 to 1930, New Frontiers. Most people know the mythic West better than the historical West. Its story has been told in books, art, and especially in the movies. The Indians at that time fought to defend their cultures and traditions. The government forced tribes to move. The Civil War forever changed St. Louis's role in westward expansion. The Civil War spelled disaster for St. Louis trade, and railroads replaced river transport. There's the old Eads Bridge. James Eads also built some ironclad gunboats for the Union Army during the Civil War. He had a contract to build seven of these. The Wainwright Building. It was 10 stories tall and marked a milestone in architecture when it was completed in 1891. This is considered the first true skyscraper. 1930 to today, building the arch. In 1947, there was a competition held to
to design the Jefferson National Expansion Memorial. These were the five finalists. Of course, this was the winner, the gateway arch design that we have today, designed by Aero Serenin. I'm sure I said that wrong, but I think this was definitely the right choice. There's the arch he designed and a chair he designed. That's known as the tulip chair. And the arch is an amazing design, 630 feet tall by 630 feet wide. It was estimated that 13 people would die while they were building it, but nobody died. It's amazing. Yeah. It is amazing. That means a very skilled workers and probably a lot of wives and husbands, whoever was working on it, prayed. They found nothing simple except the shape. It took a leap of faith. A lot of people liked the design but didn't think it could be built. The museum is very cool, very informative, and gives you a great look at the history of St. Louis right up until now. There is an admission fee to the arch. I believe that admission fee is just $3. And we bought tickets to see the documentary movie about the making of the arch, Monument to the Dream. It's 35 minutes long, and we're going to the 4 o'clock showing. This is the movie theater where we got to see the building of the arch. There's the builders, and there's the piece up there that's still missing. And that happened in 1965. And this shows the ticket prices, the See Everything combo that includes the tram ride to the top, the movie, and the St. Louis Riverfront cruise is $33. These are individual prices, tram 12, movie 7, cruise 20, children 8, 3 and 8. This is a little coffee shop where you can get sandwiches, chicken sandwiches, burgers, ribs. The tables are really cool. It talks about Lewis and Clark. And I got a really good coffee in there too. And then the little gift shop, there's like a fudge shop in the back of the gift shop. This is the arch store. So of course when you first walk in, there's an arch for sale. And there's a book about it. Oh, I can smell the fudge. Of course, there's like t-shirts and hats. It's the whole city of St. Louis on the hat. And here's some tumblers. Not bad, like 15, 15.95. They even have Fitzroot beer that says Gateway Arch on it. Hoodies, bags. Yeah. That's cute. A Jefferson large bust. It's only $495. As you're coming in or leaving, you can see this big map of the United States. And right over here in this part is St. Louis.